grade four. Welcome to our lesson this morning. And today we are going to look at converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. Remember, mixed numbers are mixed fractions. And uh, previously we've looked at mixed numbers or mixed fractions, which, are, which is formed by a whole number and a proper fraction. And improper fractions are formed by a bigger numerator and a smaller denominator. Now, we have an example here that we are going to use. This is three and a half. How do you convert three and a half into improper fraction? How do you convert three and a half into improper fraction? I want us to use a practical approach, uh, which you can do in groups with anyone around you. And uh, as we are going to use this improper fraction, uh, this practical uh, approach, it's going to help you so that when you come to calculate it, you are able to do it very well and easily. Now, looking here, we have three and a half. Three is complete. Three is full. Therefore, we have three full circular cutouts. This is one, two, three. Then, we have one half here. So, we have a half. And... Uh, these three complete or full circular cutouts, we are going to fold them into halves. Then we add on the one half that we have so that we see how many halves do we have. So we fold them very well. Then, now, we can count. How many halves do we have? Let's count together. This is one complete this is one complete circular cutout. It gives us one half, two. So we have two here. We can count together. We have one half. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, how many halves do we have? They are seven. So, we are going to write seven halves. Seven, how did we get it? We counted the halves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How do we get two? Two is the original denominator, which is showing us the, number, uh, the halves. And therefore, we have seven halves. Now, how do you do this or in your books? Or how do you calculate this? We have three and a half. We want to convert into an improper fraction. How do we do it? It's very easy. We are going to take the denominator times the denominator times the numerator, uh, times the whole number. This is a whole number. This is a whole number. This is a denominator, and this is a numerator. So we are going to take the denominator times the whole number, times the whole number, plus we add the numerator. Let's do it together. What is the denominator? The denominator is 2 times what is the whole number? The whole number is 3. So 2 times 3, what do we get? We get 6. We add the numerator. What is the numerator? 1. So we add 1. What do we get? 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Is equal to 7. So we write 7 over the original denominator. And there we are done. And as very easy as it is, ensure that when working out, you take the denominator, multiply by the whole number, then add the numerator. Two times three, you get six. You add the numerator, which is one, you get seven. Then you write seven over the original denominator. And that is how simple it is. Thank you so much.